Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will speak about game Alech in Junge, Prague 1942, so time in the Second World War and it was a really nightmare for lots of people in the world, but today I will speak about chess and I hope I pick up a good chess game and you will enjoy it. So here in this position, Alech has two options. He should play really healthy move bishop to g5 and I will tell you that this move is the best move in his position or a little bit a risky move rook to a6. And uh, sometimes um, not the best moves are winning moves. Sometimes it's good to play a risky move and maybe move like this one. So Alekhine uh, will win this game in a big style of World Chess Champion and I hope you will enjoy this game. So let's start from the beginning and let's watch this game because this game is interesting at, and we should learn from Alexander Alekhine lots of things how to improve our chess. So I hope you will enjoy this video as you will enjoy this game. So you should press like or or follow in my YouTube chess channel and I will see you next time soon. So now Alekhine is playing not the best move given to a4. Looks like this move is the strongest move because it's aggressive and immediately white is taking back one pawn. But as you will see later on this move is not the right move and black will not have a big difficulties to play middle game position. Okay, knight to d7, bishop to g2, a6 and b5. Now, first look looks like really black has big difficulties because open line, weak c6 square and what's going on with black? As I told you, black will be okay and looks like black has problems, but maybe not because, you know, White's queen is too far and this queen will be soon under attack. So, um, White will lose her tempo and Black will play bishop to b7 and c5 and will be absolutely okay. Yes, maybe now uh, White has two options. He should go for short castle or attack c7 pawn. I will tell you that the right move is short castle. Uh, big move is bishop to f4 with idea to take on c7. Looks like black will lose a pawn for nothing, but not for nothing because it should be there big activity and strong compensation at the end, maybe with advantage for black. Okay, take, take. Now check to b4, good move, rook to c8 and rook to c2 and you know, this is good compensation for black. This is great compensation for black and difficulties for white. I don't believe that anybody from us will be happy to play this position. Okay, so that's a lesson how it's important to play with all our pieces and first step how to improve our chess is to go for short castle and then we should take opponent's pawn nearly every time. This is correct. So, okay, short castle, bishop to b7 and c5. As I told you, this variation with uh, white's queen to a4 is not dangerous for black, and black is absolutely okay. So, a4, uh, now, good moment to learn from this game. Rook belongs to open file. So, what do you think was the right move in this position? Um, black took on f3 and I don't believe that this is the best move. The right move is to play rook to c8. Because it's good to place your rook where you believe that there will be open file. And um, I'm not sure if black should be happy with rook on b8 because maybe never ever b file will be open file but probably c file will be open file and this is the best move in this position so learn and watch from this game and i hope you will improve your chess so anyway uh, black took on f3 okay why not and took on d4 
looks like one more time uh, white need to spend some time to take this pawn back okay he took on b5 and this is good for him because you know that's a difference between two rooks uh, white's rook is in open file uh, meantime black's rook is not on open file and what to play here of course after rook to d1 one more time the right move is to place your rook immediately to open file. So, lean from Alechin, lean from Junge, lean from the old chess masters, because it's good to play with your rooks and it's good to place your rooks to open file. Good move. Um, Black is playing another small weakness. He's Akivin to b6. Alekhin has interesting option to go for interesting or good endgame. But maybe he was not enjoying this endgame. I don't know why, because I will show that this endgame is okay for um, White. Because he has two bishops and uh, maybe this pawn is a strong pawn. So probably this endgame is a really good endgame for White with advantage. Strong b2 pawn, rook is on open a file, two bishops, I prefer this position for white. But maybe it's not enough for Alekhin and he played knight to d2. e5, uh, the right move of course for black is to go for short castle and play with all his pieces. Like thousand times before, this is the best move. So bishop to d6. Sorry, and um, short castle, and maybe good position for black. You know, small different, and watch this difference. Play with all pieces, good middle game position, or not play with all pieces and play with pawns, and learn from this position. And I remember that it's good time, good moment to understand that if we are playing with all our pieces. We are playing good chess. Okay, knight to d2, e5, knight to b3, exchange, why not? And we are in this interesting position. One more time, as you will see, not the right move or the best move, rook to a6 will be played. But at the other side, maybe this is the winning move. And this is interesting story about chess. Uh, sometimes, um, not every time the best moves are winning moves. You know, we have to place to our opponents some difficulties. And maybe for this reason, rook to a6 is uh, making difficult time for black. But uh, just to be open and honest, uh, the right move is bishop to g5. Because we are playing with the last not active piece. And as I told you, it's good to play with all our pieces. So what to play? Maybe black is playing short castle. Okay, we are taking open file and here we have one file and another file so because we have strong two rooks i believe and two bishops of course i believe that white has advantage okay what to play maybe black is playing bishop to e7 okay we are going to f5 and going to attack um, this pawn and uh, watch this square because this square is under white's control and another square, c8, is under white's control. So black's rooks are too far from the open files. So whites hold open files, two bishops and activity. And okay, uh, move e4 is not working because of this variation, of course. So maybe this move is okay, but take, take and here is a beautiful advantage for white without any risk and any complication. So it was interesting time of this game where I believe that Alekhin um, saw this moment and saw this variation, but he thought that this move maybe is more exciting and he is going to exchange rook for a bishop. Okay, take, take. That means, as I told you, uh, Black lost a time and his king is in the center. So, funny moments starting now. Um, for example, what happens if Black is playing in knight to d7, bishop to c6, 
and now a very dangerous threat to take on e5. Okay, maybe it's going here, but another threat to win knight on d7. And looks like white's activity is so strong and so big that black will lose. Or maybe he's waiting for check, maybe he's waiting for this rook. Oh, activity is so, so huge that black is losing because he's playing without this rook. And this is a prize because black missed the right time to go for a short castle. Okay, but um, Black was a strong player and he played the right move to e6. Okay, check. And check, check. Okay, if he will take by a queen, it's check. And of course, it's losing this rook. So, yeah, it's, it's a hard position for Black. And he took by, by his king. Okay, this happened now. And check. And this is the most interesting time of this game because uh, black has two options he should go to d6 or c6 one move is okay maybe black will head or hold this position another is losing move and black played a losing move to c6 maybe the right move is to go to d6 okay f4 looks like good move because uh, white is trying to open position take and looks like uh, black is still under fire, but but uh, still white has less material. And this is interesting moment and interesting move. Looks like uh, to take this bishop is a mistake, of course. So don't take this uh, this bishop and. Uh, this answer is the best answer for a check. Check. White has compensation. But black has more material and this is still interesting position. Never know uh, what this player should play next. But as I see this position is still live position for black and black should hold this position. Unfortunately for him, he chose wrong move and he played to c6. Uh, he's standing now in the really dangerous square and open c file is maybe too dangerous for him. Okay, bishop to d2 and now e4. What a beautiful move and after this move black is lost. Uh, what to play? For example, if he's playing here, he's losing immediately. Okay. I will show another try. Maybe it's going here and losing in next one or two moves. So maybe the last hope is to play b4. But watch how White is improving his position. You know, what a piece, what a move, what a threat. So b3, another beautiful move is waiting here. Check. And another winning move. And this net around Black's king is tightening Black's piece, and Black is losing in beautiful variations. So take, take, check, check, take, take. Okay, I was faster, but maybe Black should hold this position. Still, I prefer to play this position for White. Okay, what's happening in this position? Uh, after move e4, it's nearly game over because check is coming from a6 and it's there. Check on a5, check on c5 and made next move. Okay, I hope we saw a really beautiful game where Alekhin has two choices. To play a really safety move, bishop to g5, or a little bit risky move, uh, rook to a6. Uh, black has the chances, but it was difficult position for him, and he has to play without 
any mistake and for lots of human this position is nearly lost position so what we should learn from this game that sometimes the best moves are not the winning moves and sometimes it's healthy to play risky moves okay thank you very much for watching we are at the end of this game we are at the end of this video so i hope you enjoyed i hope you saw a really interesting game and moments of this uh, this beautiful chess game Alejín Junge 1942 Prague and okay guys thank you very much for your likes and follows and i hope i will see you soon in our another youtube chess video thank you very much i wish you a good time see you soon bye bye